Hello, all learners and IT lovers with our new certification journey related to virtualization. I'm Tariq Khan, your mentor for this entire journey and welcome you all on the behalf of Neomax team. Before going towards the training or get into the intro topic, let me clear one important thing related to this training that this training format will be totally different from other platforms. Most of the time, trainers focused or followed the formula of 730, like 7030, like they more focus on the theoretical concepts and bit focused on the hands on lab side. While during this training program, we are totally focused on the hands on skills side where the theoretical concepts needed, we will definitely get into uh, the deep dive of the concepts, get the core industry concepts, but more focused, more focus on the uh, hands on labs related to the industry oriented scenarios. So we focused 70% on the hands on labs while 30% on the theoretical concepts. So let's begin the journey with our introductory session. Number one, uh, uh, we have we have six phases, and in the first phase, we will cover virtualization basic concepts. Here you can see that. Uh, let me. Here you can see that virtualization basic concepts, in which we will cover the basic definition of the virtualization. We will understand the types of hypervisors and the tremendous benefits of this industry for the real IT world. And one more important thing which we are going to discuss is why we are going to do the comparative study. It will be the first time on that platform, <clears throat> on this platform that we are going to do the comparative study. So we will definitely uh, get these concepts as well. After the introductory session, we will uh, go for the fundamentals of deployments. As I commit few moments ago that we will definitely focus on the uh, deployment side. So in the second phase, we will cover installation, configuration, customization, and client deployments related to the uh, VMware and Microsoft Hyper-V. So we will cover the core concepts of uh, the hypervisors, how they are utilized in the IT industry. In the third phase, in the third phase, we will cover and uh, the major and important topic of this industry, which is called the virtual machines. As you know that before this virtualization industry, we are using the physical infrastructure, and we need the laptops, desktop machines, and servers to uh, make operation this IT industry. But in the virtualization industry, we have the virtual machines. So in the third phase, we will cover uh, how can we create the virtual machines, how we can customize them, or what kind of appliances we are required for the deployments of virtual machines. After completion of the third phase, one major component of this industry is called the connectivity or networking. So in the fourth phase, we will cover the virtual environment related to the networking. We learn number of skills uh, that how we can develop the virtual networking environment related to the industry standards. So definitely we will cover the number of deployment scenarios in the fourth phase. In the fifth, fifth phase, here you can see that when we talk about uh, IT operations, so uh, you know that another important aspect of this operational industry is the storage area network, where you can save the data, where you can store the data, where you can um, install number of applications, operating systems. So for that purpose, you require the storage area networks. So in the same scenario, we are going to understand the storage area concepts related to the virtualization industry. We will get the core concepts related to the types of data stores and explore number of number of protocols related to this uh, uh, 
storage area industry. And one important thing, we will explore another major component which is called vCenter Server, which is the core component of the VMware infrastructure. And we will definitely <coughs> excuse me and we will definitely compare this product to other vendors especially with microsoft after the completion of five phases in the last phase we will cover the core security concepts related to the virtualization industry uh, we will get into uh, the core concepts of the user permissions, user authorization, authentication, accounting, and numerous user roles which are required in the virtualization industry. And at the end, at the end, we will explore the backup options which are required for all the industries. And at the last, at the last, we will discuss exam preparation because because we know that the certification is more important for your career growth for getting uh, the job and uh, make yourself more valuable in the industry so we will share number of tips and tricks how you can get into the exam topics how you can explore a number of options which will uh, get high scores uh, uh, for all the candidates for all the learners uh during the exam so let's begin the journey and uh, start with the first topic 